Hey guys, it's uh, Tyler Bios one here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a wallpaper for the new baited channel. Sort of like this one that I just made. Uh, what you do is first you have to go into the description over there and uh, download my uh, my template. And uh, we'll start from there. Okay, download it and then go to file, open. And you get to open it. Um, I'm on desktop. YouTube stuff. And YouTube beta template. And open. Here's my template. Uh, with this, you can do anything. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, highlight the green area or actually uh, select the green area with my uh, rectangle select tool you can use fuzzy select and more color select but I think this works better because last time it, I tried to make this tutorial kept on making lines and stuff and I kept making the video too long and everything okay go to paint bucket tool and pattern fill or you can just fill these sides with whatever color you want or you can uh, use a make a gradient but I'll do pattern fill and use the pattern I made it's a uh, or actually I didn't make this one I got it from a uh, tutorial that uh, get know how made and I just actually it was just a picture and I turned it into a uh, pattern turned it into a PAT file now all I have to do is find it here it is and it'll be like warning signs almost exactly like this you know Okay, just grab the uh, paint book tool, there you go, and then paint book at the green area. And now, do the same thing over here. Just take your rectangle tool, and then just move the rectangle, the old selection, and move the new selection. Move it over here to the new selection. Uh, I'll take this thing and uh, I'll move it over to the side as far as I can. Now I'm mess with it. Stupid bug crawling on me. Okay, there it goes. Okay, this is good. Now just do the same thing you did over here and select them. Now on this very edge, no matter what, I don't know why, but you'll get a green edge. To uh, if you if you want to keep that, go ahead. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rectangle tool, zoom into about I don't know 400 maybe, because that'll be the best, I guess. The best to uh, get it and everything. Okay, take your rectangle tool and uh, select the green edge. Go faster, stupid scroll bar thing. Here. I just do that. And go up to 33% again, and then just drag it. Yeah, see, that would have took a long time. Now, I'll go back to 400% and try to get the edge straight. See, it's not straight at all. There it goes. Oops. Now, take your or change your uh, foreground color to white, and then go to uh, select and uh, choose feather, and then feather it by eight pixels or nine pixels. Click OK. Now take your paintbrush tool. After you zoom out, I'll zoom out to thirty-three point three. Okay. Now take your paint brush and then paint brush it. And it gives it like that glassy effect look at thing. Just like this right here. And actually, whoops, and act, uh, open the stupid thing. Whoops. 
and actually, uh, this would work better if you made a new layer and then added that, but I'm too lazy to do that, so, well. Okay, you can also take this, uh, blue mark right there, and, uh, you can change it whatever color you want, but I'll just go ahead and make it black, because I don't, you don't really need that. Uh, bubble selection, FG. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoops. <coughs> Fill some other colors. Dang it. You know what? I'll just do that. And I'll make it black. Oh, yeah, and I would get rid of this template thing. <laughs> just erase that black paintbrush and then do the same thing that you did over here over here just take your little thing zoom in a lot and select it And <coughs> zoom back out to 33.3 .3 and click select feather and click OK. And then just take your paintbrush tool and make it white again. And then just stroke down again. And select now. Okay. See? Okay, now uh, you can add text and everything. This is all I'm going to really show you right now. Just add text and everything. Uh, you can leave this black if you want. Or you can add like stuff behind it. Like another pattern fill. Like, I don't know, this thing. A regular old warning sign thing. But I like this one because it looks cool. Okay, anyways, talk to you guys later. Uh... Uh... Rate, subscribe, comment, and... Uh...